Hey everybody, welcome to, welcome back to Ogre Speed Shop. Today we're going to talk about metric versus SAE sizes. So stand by and enjoy the video. All right, so basically, well, let's see Dick the Shop Duck is with us today. So basically what the purpose of this video is to show you which metric sockets are the same size, exact same size as standard sockets, and which ones are close, and which ones you should not use with, uh, like say, a metric size on a standard bolt. So let's get into it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. to start with that are the same size is your 5 sixteenths and your 8 millimeter. And a perfect example of what they're used for is a side post for a GM battery for a GM car. So this is a typical side post uh, connector. As you can see, this here is your 5 sixteenths, and that fits on there. There's a little bit of movement, but very little. And the eight millimeter fits on there, the exact same amount. So these two, five sixteenths and eight millimeter are exactly the same sizes. So let's move on to the next size that are close, but you don't want to use one with the other. So now we're talking about a 10 millimeter and a three eighths. So this is a 10 millimeter, this is your three eighths. So the three eighths is just slightly smaller than the 10 millimeter. So you, can you use a 10 millimeter on a 3 8 headed bolt? Yes, you can, but you, you will take the chance of rounding off the edges. So you don't want to do that. And a 3 8 socket will not fit on a 10 millimeter bolt. And so one of the more unusual, well not unusual, but the probably most common that people recognize are 7 16 and 11 millimeter. And here comes Dick. So <laughs> these ones are exactly the same size. Now, I don't think I've ever seen an actual 11 millimeter headed bolt. They've all been 7 16 but I'm sure they're out there. But that's what I, uh, so that's a combination on that. So 7 16 and 11 millimeter are exactly the same. So let's move on to the next size. All right, so the next size is your 12. And then, like I said, metric just counts directly up. So we started with the uh, eight. So it goes eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, all the way up to whatever size. Okay, so the next size would be a 12, and there's no standard size socket or anything that matches a 12. So that's all by, kind of all by itself. You see these a lot in uh, Toyotas and whatnot and foreign cars. But uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much basically it for the 12. Next one is, and this is the one that definitely got to be careful of, is your half inch and your 13. They're close, but the half inch is just a little bit bigger. So if you try to use a 13 on a half inch bolt head, you will probably round it off if you if it's torqued down pretty hard or it's hard to get off. So you need to be careful of that. Uh, can it be used? Of course it can, but you just gotta be careful because it can round, round the bolt off. So those are pretty close. Next one up would be your 9 16 and your 14. Again, the 14 is just slightly smaller this time than a 9 16. So you, it's you know, you know, another one that uh, if you're messing around and your 9 16 feels a little loose, grab your 14 and it probably will fit and work a little better for you. So, and again, 14 is not really something you see a whole lot of, at least I haven't, but you know, I've, I've worked mostly with uh, standard size vehicle, or standard size bolts, because most of the vehicles I've worked on are older than 73. And uh, the metric system was actually, started being used by Chevy or GM in 1973 on the Chevette, imagine that. So just something, a little history there. So they, the metric's been around in American cars for since 1973. I thought it was like 87, but I did some research on it. It's actually 1973 is when they started using them in production. So that's your 9 16 and your 14. Like I said, 14 is just a little bit smaller than 9 16. So if you, maybe if you get a rounded off bolt and a rounded off uh, hex, nobody uses the, the 14 by tapping it on the hammer or something. So it's something to think about. But like I said, 14 is just a little bit smaller than 9 16 All right, so after 14 comes your 15. The 15 is pretty much in the class by itself. See a lot of these on the new, newer GM cars um, for like accessory brackets and whatnot. So that's your 15. And it's like I said, it's pretty much in the class by itself. Now your next ones are your 16 and your 5 8 And they are pretty much the exact same size. So this is a 5 8 headed bolt. It's a uh, 7 16 bolt. And as you see, it fits in there perfectly and not a whole lot of shake and not a whole lot of uh, movement. Use a 16, basically the same thing. So the 5 8 and the 16, exactly the same size. So the next one you have is your 17. 
And the closest thing to it is your 11 16 And as you see, this is a 5 8 uh, head of bolt, or a 5 8 bolt, or I'm sorry, a 7 16 bolt nut. And it fits the 7 16 perfect. As far as the 17, though, it doesn't quite fit in there. It fits, but it's really tight. So they're close, but the 17 is just a hair smaller than 11 16 Next one is your 18. Again, this is just like your 15. It's kind of in a class by itself. There aren't any standard sizes that are close to it. So it's by itself, just like the 15. Now your next one, this is probably one of the most common ones that people use because wheel lugs or wheel nuts or uh, lug nuts is your 19 and your three quarter. Again, these are pretty much exactly the same size. That's your three quarter as far as you can see the amount of motion in there, I hope. And your 19, same thing. It's actually a little bit less. So I'd say the 19 is probably just a slight bit smaller than your three quarter. But those are pretty much the same size as well. All right, so after 19, we got 20. However, I don't think there's too many uh, 20 millimeter headed bolts out there because I don't have one. I can't find one. I thought I had a 20 millimeter somewhere, but I can't find it. So I might have a wrench. Let me check, see if I got a wrench. All right, so I do, I have an actual 20 millimeter Craftsman wrench. So that tells me I haven't, because all my snap-on sets, they didn't come with anything this size. So I don't think I've ever run into a 20 millimeter bolt head, but that's your next size. So you know, 19, 20. The next one is your 21. A 21 and your 13 sixteenths, again, are the exact same size. So this is another size. Once you get into the bigger sizes, it seems like they, uh, they all have ones that match each other. So, so that's your 21 millimeter and your 13 sixteenths. 13 sixteenths is just a hair tighter, but you can definitely use either or on those bolts. So it can be a standard size bolt that's a 13 sixteenths size or a metric bolt that fits a 21. And they both fit together. So that's those two. So on to the next one is your 22 and your 7 eighths. These are another common size as far as uh, your O2 sensors. It's a common size for those. Also for your shock bolt, that's what this one is right here. As you can see that is your 7 eighths and it fits perfectly. And this is your 22 and it, again, it fits perfectly too. Maybe slightly tighter on the 22, but 22 and 7 eighths are pretty much the exact same size. All right, so the last size we're gonna talk about is your 15 16 and your 24 millimeter. And these are another set that are pretty much exactly the same. You can see there's very little movement in there between the seven or the 15 16 and the 24 millimeter. Did I say 24 originally? So it's 15 16 and 24 millimeter are two more that are exactly the same size. So, 23 is another not common size, so we just kind of skipped, we went from 22 to 24, because 23 is not a very common size. And uh, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. So let me know down in the comments if any of you have ever run into a 20 millimeter headed bolt. So that's another one, or a 23 millimeter headed bolt. You know, I'm not, I've, like I said, I've worked mostly on American cars that still use standard cars, because I, I, you know, older cars, so. If you've seen a 20 millimeter headed bolt, let me know and let me know what it was on. If you've seen a 23 millimeter, let me know what it was on. But that's pretty much covers the, the sizes between SAE and metric that are similar and it almost that finishes exact. up this video on the difference between metric and standard sizes. I hope it helped you out as far as determining what sizes are similar and the same. And that way you can uh, substitute one for the other if you need to. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like down there. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've seen a 20 millimeter headed bolt or a 23 millimeter headed bolt. And I kind of be curious as to what you might, might have found it on. So let me know down, down in the comments. So leave that comment. Let me know what I can do, what I can do better. And subscribe while you're at it. What the heck? It's free. So until next time, I'll see you all later.